All right. That's that's tough to me. I can't do that. But um, I'm Stuart, and I'm Joel's best man. I'm very proud of that fact because I had to put in a lot of time to get here. Seriously. Joel made me put in 27 years of the best years of my life. I mean, all my friends told me I should move on. There was no way that Joel was going to make me a best man. He was never going to get married. It just wasn't going to happen. But I stuck with him. I'm not saying, I'm not saying it was hard. In the beginning, because in the beginning, like middle school and high school, Joel was kind of an asshole. And it was easy to be his best friend because there was no competition. It seriously was just the two of us. We were tight. We were brothers. We called ourselves the Stallion Brothers. We thought, we thought that was awesome, but we couldn't get anybody else to call us the Stallion Brothers. So we had to hook up with a couple of other guys who were really modest too. They, they, it was Nick and Nick, and they called themselves the Conniction. Right there. And we formed the Four Horsemen. And I, I know you guys have heard of the Four Horsemen because we are really a big deal around here. I'm sure of it. If you haven't heard of us, you've probably seen a couple of the business cards that Joel had made. Had, you know, had all four of our names and numbers on there. Joel thought it'd be a good idea. Like, every girl wants a card with like four random guys' name and number on there. So, Joel made 500 business cards with the four horsemen on it so we could hand it out to ladies on the Kirkland Strip. Like I said, in the early days, it was easy to be Joel's best friend. Joel toned down the attitude a little bit later on, went to college. He's always been a very entertaining friend. He made some, some great friends in college. I had to compete with them to maintain my best man status. Even Jason Williams probably, you, you made a run for it at one point in time. It's hard, it's hard to believe, but I held on. So now, I feel like it's my job as the best man to somehow explain how a guy like Joel ended up with a beautiful bride like Melissa. I, I think I can do it. And I think Melissa will agree with me. When it comes to Joel, there's always, there's always more to it. See, Joel is the master of the, the undersell and the over-deliver. He, like, he likes to keep expectations really low. And then he likes to come in like a, like a hero in the end. Strong, right when it counts. He's the master of this. All through, through all the years that we played sports together, wrestling, football, he started the season off slow. By the end of the season, he was all league, or you know, so he had some huge victory at the end. Joel is the only guy I know, this, this, this is true, in, in wrestling, he got the most improved award two years in a row. That should not even be possible. Like, how, how bad do you have to be that first year? I mean, when, I'm, when, I'm not, when I say bad, I mean like, how bad do you have to sandbag it that first year in order to get it that second year? But I've seen Joel do it many times. Most inspirational, most improved, all the time. He's probably got a dozen of those in his, tro in his uh, closet. So guess what I'm, I'm saying to you, Melissa? Joel's going to get better. And more importantly, seriously, Joel's not going to disappoint because, you know, the expectations are low. And he definitely will never let you down. That's serious. And to Joel, I want to say thank you for make, finally, finally making me a best man, <laughs> seriously. I've enjoyed everything about this, this whole wedding process. Watching you do this has been hilarious. I mean, Joel took me cupcake tasting. That is something I never thought the two of us would do together, but we, we did it. And I, I loved it, it was great. I loved, I loved every second of it. 
So I, I want to raise my glass to Joel and Melissa. And I want to say congratulations to Joel for another most improved award. <laughs>